Hey, it's Lars. Uh, I'm out in the vegetable garden, and uh, I've been taking down some of my um, potato tires. I've already done one, and got a bucket of potatoes out of it, which was great. I was pretty worried that uh, after the, tomato, uh, the tomatoes all went with blight, that we're now out of uh, all the potatoes went the same way. So let me have a show you a quick view of what's going on, and then we'll start taking apart the next tower and see how it went. So here we are, the tyre that I took down, I took all the soil and I bagged it, and I don't know if you can see it, but over the other side I've put the put the uh, the bags and the tyres out of the way. Uh, it was getting pretty late last night, this is one of the last tyres left. You can see the pumpkins, oh, got little pumpkins growing, so that's cool. And this is the tyre that we're going to do now, so this is three stacks high, and uh, we're going to start Filling the filling more bags up with it, and the corn's doing really well. We've got loads of corn on these things, so that's going to be my seed stock for next year. And uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to start taking the tire apart and see how it goes. Okay, so we are one tire down and no potatoes. Uh, I had found one potato so far, really up by the top. It was a big one as well. It was like fist size. Uh, in the other one, but this one no potatoes in the first tyre. Actually very little roots or anything at all to be honest. Um, almost nothing. It's very strange. Okay, we're now on the bottom tyre. Got more bags of dirt. And you can see there's already some potatoes here. Uh, so this is kind of what I was seeing on the other one. You end up with potatoes in the bottom tyre, but nowhere else. Oh, let me get a bucket. Potatoes. Two potatoes so far. So I'm going to keep digging and see how we go. Okay, so it's that emptied. There's the soil I've got from it. I've just cleared the top of the other one to start working on that. And that's the potatoes. Uh, so that's obviously incredibly disappointing. Much better yield from the other tyre with the same variety. So all of these are at the bottom. Uh, there was no growth at all in the top two tyres. And the majority of these are like, you know, not even potatoes. So I'm going to dig up the other one, see how many we get from that. And, uh, and then I'm going to see if I can do like a little diagram of what I found and uh, kind of just discuss that because right now I'm thinking the potato tyre towers are not going to work at all. Uh, I'm very disappointed with this. So I'll see how the other one goes. Hopefully it will have worked. I don't know. Well that was quick. Um, the first potato I found, this was almost on the surface, and it is like just crushed apart in my hands. That's completely rancid. <sighs> Shit. I don't know how easily you can see this. That one. Yeah, so that inside there is just rancid mush. And it smells kind of fermented. Okay, so are there any others on this top? Ooh. What's this? This is another big, soft, rancid potato. So that is rancid. Okay, so this is not looking so great. Uh, now, I have suspected that these potatoes have blight. And this one is... It doesn't smell too bad. I'm going to stick them in a separate bucket and keep an eye on them because I don't want to put them in the same bucket. Okay, so I'll start filling up a bucket with these. Okay, so this is the first tyre empty. I don't know how will we be able to see it, but there's a fair amount of ants in here. No ants? Come on, focus your damn thing. Okay, my crappy phone's not going to focus. Uh, Here's the potatoes, we've got some pretty big ones, and some pretty small ones, so they're those. 
Um, one thing I have noticed is this soil is incredibly dry. So I think basically the, the centre here is wet and everything else is dry. So potentially having this tyre stack like this is interfering with the watering. So I'm going to add that to my notes. Now one thing I'm going to just make a note of here is that this tyre or this stack has much more root growth in it. So hopefully that hints at more potatoes. Okay, so as you can see, my camera still won't focus. Um, we have hit the mother load, I think, as they used to say in the old west. These are big potatoes. Uh, yeah, they got little cuts and stuff on them. I don't know what that's all about. But they're all in the bottom tire, which is kind of supporting my original or the hypothesis I made uh, a while ago, in that the uh, potato towering doesn't make much sense because potato plants generally don't release rhizomes further up the stalk. They just do the original. The original root ball has the rhizomes and not this. So when I finish digging up this tire, we'll do a weigh-in of the potatoes and then I'll uh, see if I can sketch up some diagrams to uh, kind of better show what I found in this. In the following slides I'm going to show you uh, what I expected based on my reading and my research and other people's videos on potato towers and like kind of an approximation of what I roughly saw. Slight differences is there was um, multiple seed potatoes in each tyre but what I'm going to do is just draw this with a, uh, a single seed potato just for simplicity's sake. So on the left we have the expected growth and on the right we have the actual recorded growth. Okay, so we're a few weeks in and the uh, potatoes, seed potatoes are now sprouted, we've got some small leaves on the, the surface and they're also pushing out roots and rhizomes from the seed potato. And these rhizomes are the source of uh, new potato tubers. So at this stage the growth is, is identical in both. In the single layer planters with only one tyre, growth carried on as usual and we had the same results with both expected and actual. So we're now about a month into the experiment and the first tyre has been stacked on top. The expected result of this is that the plants will grow up through the soil while putting out new rhizomes. The actual result of this is the plants do indeed grow up through the soil, so the towering does work. And they do appear to put out a very few amount of rhizomes, but not anywhere near what was expected. So time carries on, uh, another tyre has been added, the plant has continued to grow up through the soil in both the expected and the actual. Uh, small potatoes have developed in the middle um, tyre, and quite a lot of potatoes have developed in the bottom of the tyres. In fact, probably more than I expected uh, in the bottom tyre. Also to note here is the seed potato has now just shriveled up and, and died and all of, the, all of the plant is now getting its energy from the soil. This might have been one of the main failings of this where the watering was only watering a small amount of the soil inside the tower. The cause of the failure here could be that the watering solution wasn't good enough to sustain potato growth all the way up the stem of the plant. So the potato towers are now three tyres tall, which is the highest I let them get to. The potatoes are now in their main growth phase where they're going to be putting on as much biomass as possible. In the expected, with all of the rhizomes running all the way up the length of the stem, this should have filled the tyres with potatoes. There should have been fairly, fairly uniform growth between tyres. In the actual, the stem had produced rhizomes and there were uh, small amounts of potato growth, but it wasn't uniform. There was a considerable amount in the bottom tyre and then there was a small amount in the top tyre. Again, one of the reasons for this is that there was much better watering in the bottom tyre, which, uh, which seemed to have collected much more water. And the 
middle and the top tyre had uh, much less. In fact, the middle tyres in general were almost completely dry, with the top tyre having a small amount of water, presumably from rain, and the bottom having uh, a large amount of water, presumably as it collects there and, and almost fills up the tyre. So finally the potato has reached the end of its vegetative life, I think that's the word. Um, the plant has started, to, well, the surface plant has started to die back, the leaves are turning brown and it's putting its final energy into producing tubers. What we found in the actual was that the, the tubers that had developed in the top tyre um, were kind of soft and rancid as you saw in the previous video. That is possibly due to late blight which had affected the tomatoes in the same garden and uh, we had like quite a lot of potato die back as well. This could have been because it was late in the season or it could have been because of, uh, of actually the effects of late blight. So all of the potatoes in the top tyres came out as basically just disgusting rancid blobs of stuff. We picked out a few potatoes in the middle tyres and they were okay and then the bottom tyres were absolutely jam-packed with potatoes. So with the effects of the late blight and also the possible problems with the watering system it is quite hard to conclude anything from this. Um, we did definitely get rhizome production up the stem in the top two tyres and I'm guessing if uh, there was a better watering system and that, that soil was damp then we would have got much better potato growth in those tyres. In the bottom tyre which was almost saturated with water most of the time uh, we got fantastic potato growth. My conclusion is basically potato towering does seem to work in principle. Um, I went into this a little bit sceptical. However the, the watering system particularly in the tyres didn't really work very well. We were using a, a top feed watering system that was dripping water down into the tyres. What seems to have happened is that water collects in the bottom and very little of it stays in the soil in the top tyres. Going forward what it might be better to do is have almost like a wicking system um, with uh, a pool of water at the bottom. Planting the seed potatoes slightly higher up perhaps at the boundary between the first and the second tyre instead of at the bottom of the first tyre and being much more vigilant against uh, things like late blight. So we need a redesign of this system, it was a little bit disappointing, um, however I, I think we've got some great results from this. I'd be really interested in hearing everybody else's experience with this, you know, stick it in the comments, drop me another video if you think that, um, if, if you've done a similar experiment and you've got different results or you've got the same results, uh, I'd absolutely love to hear that. What I'm planning to do is, following on next year, to slightly redesign the outside tyre garden probably use some sort of wicking system to provide water at the base of the towers and have it wick up through the soil. Maybe even combine that with a top watering or a, a, having drippers intermediately through the tyres. Um, so yeah, good experiment. Didn't get all the potatoes that I wanted. Um, I ended up with about three buckets of potatoes total out of the entire garden. That was pretty disappointing. The potatoes that I got are huge. You know, there's, there's some like baseball sized ones. Uh, which are going to make great baked potatoes. I hope the information I've got here is uh, is helping you and you can apply that to your own gardens. And uh, if anyone has any information or anyone can see any other problems with the experiment, then I, I would love to hear that. Great, thanks. I'm Lars, and uh, that was my potato tower experiment for year one of the tire garden. Rock on, guys. Have fun. See you next time.